Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I appear to have a creaky voice as not unexpected, but not necessarily common in the last episode, we decided that before we do the Cove boss, the Sodden crew, those sods, we need more money. We're out, we're running low. But we do have some good opportunities to take some decent people out because nobody is really locked away in anything. In fact, I believe nobody is locked away in anything at all. So what we're going to do is see if we can upgrade anything. We do have a lot of crests. And I'd like to be able to upgrade the skill to the full amount, but we haven't even got enough crests to begin doing that, so... Hmm. Maybe we're not going to be upgrading much at all. We do have some quite low-level characters that really need to come out and play. Recall we got rid of Holmesy and replaced Holmesy with a new Holmesy who is level 1 already. So now we have a couple of Vestals down at this level. Zeke got to level 2 when we fought the Sonorous Prophet and successfully won. Uh, spoilers, I haven't watched that episode yet. How about you watch the episodes in order? There's a playlist for a reason. So what are we going to do? In order to get money, we should probably take our Antiquarian here. In order to take our Antiquarian, we should probably not take our Arbalist. Sorry, Dutch. You've had your heyday. We'll also not take Zeke and we'll start taking Holmes. Because uh, I'm thinking there's a medium which is fairly long in terms of your backpack. It's fairly long in terms of the amount of stuff you're going to pick up. Uh, it's just a cleanse. 100% of room battles. I suppose if we're going to do that, we should take a Vestal. Dutch, why are you here? I told you about that. There we go. But, you know, these antiquarians are not huge damage outputters. So, uh, I don't know. Having the antiquarian here will obviously allow us to get more stuff. And therefore, have a nice lucrative journey. But it being a medium and 100% of room battles, well, it does mean that we're going to have a camp. What can you do? Pep talk. Strange powders. Heavy resistances. Basically to everything. And less stress damage to yourself. You can also produce a random trinket, which I'm not sure is too useful because then we just have a trinket that we don't necessarily want. Uh, cluttering up our inventory. Random supply item, again, if we're at the stage where we need to use that. Although it does only cost one time, whereas that costs two. If we're at the stage where we want to produce a random supply item over and over again until we get like a torch or something, we might already be in trouble. The other thing I'm thinking is that um, it costs more to go on a medium run. I mean, why don't we look at our other alternatives? There's a long one. That's a boss. They're all medium or long, except this one, which is an apprentice mission. Short. But it's in the cove, which scares me. Because if we put Holmesy here, new Holmesy, uh, we... <sighs> If we took Marie, for example, we'd want to put her at the back. If we did that, there'd be no for Sagiris. Especially considering the one thing we use on the Antiquarian the most is this Invigorating Vapors. Which is back to positions, which, you know, upsets where uh, Marie would be. Which means that we should probably take someone else who can do Blight. Basically, I'm looking at Blight damage here. Um, we want to do Blight damage and just hit hard. Uh, and again, no one can really do blight damage from the front. Which makes it difficult to consider the cove to be the greatest idea. So I'm going to chicken out and do the ruins again. Am I? Nah, screw it. Let's take everyone to here. Because that way, we don't have to worry about the fact our inventory will be filling up. We don't have to be here for too long. Um, and we don't have to worry about... I mean, there could be more battles in the cove than there are in a long ruins, just because of RNG. But you have to imagine that a short mission with less provisioning requirements will be over more quickly. And of course, if we do have to abandon ship, run away, at least we'll have gathered more stuff as a result of having the Antiquarian with us at the time. I think we should probably take Erasmus anyway, because it's a grave robber, and that's awesome. Slightly tempted to therefore swap out poison darts and maybe pick to the face or similar. 
But then it's just go forward two and then Shadow Fade is back one. So we want to start Erasmus in the third position on any fight that we do do. <laughs> but uh, Holmesy here would not be able to do a direct heal until Erasmus moved forwards. But uh, we're aware of that. We know how that works. Now, who do we want to be tanky? Maybe DT? Level zero tank's probably a bad idea. We could take Vague. Or we could take someone who's actually slightly better at it, like Mr. Steve. But then Mr. Steve will level out of this. We really want Mr. Steve in the cove when we're going to kill the sudden crew, I think. Um, either Mr. Steve or Brian. Where's Brian? I think Brian leveled away from us, yeah. So we can't take Brian anyway. And I can't even say Brian without saying Brian. So, Willie Swadra, bring Brian. Okay. Let's just do this. We've got our antiquarian. We've got a few torches. It's a short mission, so we only need short supplies. But I will take extra shovels because in the cove, of course, you can get stuff out of the um, the chests. We'll take a key just in case we do find uh, the secret room. We'll do trinkets because first episode of the day. Don't forget your trinkets. Thanks for reminding me. Is that the one we want? Yeah. Less stress damage, more less dying, that's good for me. More prop, that seems good. Just take those, have done with. Uh, wait, no, the other one. Sort it. This one, and this one. What are you going to take? More accuracy range skills, but more stress damage. Is this, is this ranged? It's melee, which makes sense, but... I wondered whether it for some reason counted as ranged, because we did it from range. More speed seems like a decent idea. I mean, we could use our 12... We could definitely do with the 12 dodge, but I was thinking we could use our range... It's very difficult to say ranged skill without either spitting down the microphone or doing something else kind of gross. Or just not saying it, which happens. We tend to take books on the antiquarian. Don't necessarily need the accuracy. Uh, maybe we can get the one where we end up with, yeah, less chance of party surprised. Oh, more damage versus Eldritch. We should probably make sure someone has that, actually. Especially down here. So I think I'll replace this with this. We should also take some bandages, because we do get bled a bit, but this is a low-level mission, so maybe that's not so much of a concern. I'm not sure. I guess we just go as we are and see what happens. Scouting chance could be nice. Um, what else do you do? More crit? More dodge. More crit and more dodge would be nice. Obviously, we don't want the antiquarian to actually die. Uh, but yeah, I'll take a couple of bandages. Where's my... There it is. Just in case, I did take some medicinal herbs as well, because when we come across the... Uh, it's a coral. Curios. Then we'll find maybe some decent stuff in them. Basically, that's what your medicinal herbs are for. Is almost unbearable. Down here in the cove. Alright, Antiquarian, you're going to do everything. That is a, a Vestal. Nice try. Good start. Money and power. I mean, money and antiques. Uh, one trap mind. Uh, right. Let's have as few fights as we possibly can. I'm expecting it to end here if we go this way completely. What is this, though? A trap? It's not a trap. Why don't you have a look? Brackish Tide Pool. A pool of water cupped in smooth stone. Its colour looks slightly off. No. Uh, just use it. Tremendous. Until camp. That's the whole mission. Oh, we should use torches. I remember this game. There's a trap. Luckily, it hit Erasmus and Erasmus dodged it. That's Erasmus. Yeah. I'm very paranoid now about using the wrong names for all the people in the game. That was a bit silly. I did just walk into this room without using a torch beforehand. I'm trying to click here again. Thank you. Let's keep up the light. We want to be able to uh, surprise things where possible. And be unsurprised ourselves. Is only the first test. Although I have we used be carried home. five minutes. I have used three torches already. But we won't use them on the way back, so that's fine. Two. 
Well, here's a battle. This should be fun. Right, what are we going to do here? We will lunge at... I want to lunge at this Joker, but I can't. Maybe we do some poison darts first, because Holmesy's not actually going to be doing any healing to begin with, because no one's taking any damage to begin with. So we get some DP, uh, DOT on that thing there. Take some stress. That's okay. We can deal with it. Again, no camp, no de-stress. Good dodge. Thank you for doing that. Uh, everyone gets invinigorated, unless you can hit something. No. We probably want to unlock Nervous Stab with Sir Gyrus. When we get the opportunity, I'm just going to check the uh, the actual specifics of, of Nervous Stab. It can only hit the first three. But this... This is a Blight, which can happen from anywhere. That looks amazing. There's only one point around, unfortunately, so it's not the strongest Blight anyone's ever made. It's just damage. Let's dodge. What have you got on dodge? Five. Wow, look at the protection on that thing. Kill that. Thank you. I mean, I have to imagine that the damage that we had already done to it had some some effect. Allowing us to just one-shot it with the Vestal. But the crit helps as well. And we... Already. <laughs> already. Again, this is one of those situations where if we were camping, I believe the Grave Robber has the snuff box so we could immediately well not immediately but eventually on this run remove it right let's um let's start lunging probably hit this and maybe kill it yeah good kill and then this is an uh, possibly a move no, i didn't get it well that might have been a bleed i don't even remember, I don't even remember. see with slash is just a stab okay <clears throat> it may be uh later levels when those things start becoming extremely hazardous as they start moving us around Everyone's got this great dodge resist, and we're doing great dodges as a result, or at least we're doing great dodges anyway. Oh, you're... my mistake. That's okay. That one is, in fact, guarding that one. I don't think we have a uh, protection-removing debuff with us, <clears throat> which is a shame. Oh, you resisted the stun, did you? Well, I'm not happy with that. But I am happy that we dodged it, so... Pardon me. Easy come, easy go. Will you let me go? Don't quote that if Gav's watching. He's going to get cross. Uh, we don't really need a heal still, so I think I'm just going to keep doing this. Or maybe try and... Wait, one of these is a stun. That's my stun. It must be the other, other one. Which one have you got that's a stun? That one. There we go. Just keep damaging this, I suppose. I mean, it's the only one that we can damage. We're going to be wailing away at this for some time if that's how much protection it's got, but our dodge buff as a result of the Antiquarian now is pretty valuable. You're not uh, being guarded anymore, which is a terrible time for the guard to wear off. Because now I can't continue doing damage to this as a result of hitting that, but that's fine. So we are spreading around the damage, which is uh, less than ideal, but maybe we can... We could actually kill this, so get a kill plus. Which is exactly what happened, but I was not really expecting it. I'm happy that it happened, but really wasn't expecting it. So we may be healing Mr. Steve here. Just a tad. I mean, it's not hugely important, but... I mean, we didn't fill up his HP with that, so... Uh, okay. Guess we're trying to stun. But at this point... Having Holmesy in a healable position is not necessarily too useful because she only has a little bit of healing to do. So I don't mind moving Erasmus back like that. We could party heal, which gives us a little top up. But I think we just keep doing damage to this and get rid of it. It is stunned, obviously. Uh, meaning that Holmesy being in that position is going to continue to not be a problem. That's what we like to see. Plenty of gub gubbins. Is this the sort of thing I don't want to touch? Yeah. It says perhaps an unholy power lies within. Which to me means don't touch this. You'll end up fighting a shambler. Everyone will die. Or you'll end up retreating. And your tank that you had getting ready to do the next boss is actually going to end up not being available due to being interred. F f f That's two hungers already. Rasmus. You're, you're a trap. Trap chap. That's right. 
deal with it. It's nice to get a, a trap that we spot. Because... That's a strange effect. Because it does give us a little bit of stress relief if we successfully disarm it, which is exactly how that went down. No more... Uh, no more bullshit, please, game. <sighs> I literally just said, no more bullshit, please, game. And here you are, bullshitting me. You dick. Right, so one trick with this one, which I don't think we can do because we don't have the skill, is to knock back the things that this spawns, to bring it into range, but prevent it from spawning anymore. Not going to work. <laughs> bit of a problem there is that we can't knock anything back. So I think we just keep attacking this and hoping for the best, but this could be a reason that we run away, to be quite honest with you. Uh, we can mark. So I'm going to want you... Yeah, I think we should try and mark... Oh, it marks yourself, doesn't it? Me. And we can't really reach anything at the back with this unit. So maybe we just try to... Uh, Encourage them to hit Mr. Steve here. It's a stress attack, that's okay. We can tank a stress attack, although it will cost us some of the reason that we're here. A buff. Ouch. Yeah, the stress attack will cost us some of the very purpose that we're here, which is that we want to uh, collect as much money as possible, and then we're going to have to de-stress some of these units, but... Honestly, until something really damaging happens, I'm just going to keep trying to kill this one as fast as possible, which means leaving Erasmus there, which is dangerous, of course, because it means that Holmesy is in a position where she can't actually do any healing for us. Well, not not big heals. So we may have to use Holmesy's turns just to do a full party heal, even when that's a less optim optimist optimistic? Less optimal of the options. Oh, you're guarding, are you? Of course you are. That's a shame. I guess we try and stun the healing one. Just in case it decides to try and heal. <coughs> that one there. The uh, Mana Arms' is guard apparently only lasts one turn. Which is fine. Our bleed is bad, but we did bring bandages. This may be the time to lunge, so that we can get Homesy into position to immediately heal Erasmus next. Uh, and I think we try and... Just attack the man-at-arms. There's no reason not to, I think. The healer was buff, uh, buffed. The healer was stunned, so it wasn't going to be healing anybody. And then Holmesy should get a go before too long. This could stun the man-at-arms, actually. It did. Honestly, we could have killed it now I look again. But, you know. Don't necessarily notice things until it's too late to do anything about it. So you're going to be... 10 is a good heal there. Very useful indeed. We're halfway there on this. Well, not even, but we're getting there. That's the point. And as long as it keeps doing these stress attacks, I think we'll be okay. Because I'm currently more worried about... Um, about damaging attacks, because it's possible that they just get so damaging. Yeah. Should have killed that healer when we had the chance, really. Oh, well. We're learning. Not very well. Not very fast, but we'll get there. I think, honestly, we just try and kill these as quickly as we can. Just to bring the other ones forwards. How have you got that much HP, though? Can we talk about this? That's fine. I mean, our dodge is going to be pretty good before too long. Everyone has a go. I think we just continue actually damaging this. We're getting good value out of just that one attack, so I'm happy to leave Erasmus there for now. Until it becomes important, anyway. Heal just self. I'm okay with that, because I can probably kill you anyway. More stress is coming in. One dodge is actually pretty good. Uh, but at least it doesn't do damage to us. That's the important part there. So we'll just keep going around this uh, flowchart, I suppose. Cycling through this. Can we kill this with this? We can, but it's not guaranteed, whereas this seems... This is actually guaranteed. This obviously means that this might spend a turn respawning now. But, I mean, I guess I'm happy with that. That's another bleed. What is it? Two for three rounds. 
Do I want to use my other... My last bandage on removing that bleed? Because we can just heal yourself. For a crit, which is great. I mean, it, way more than we needed it to be. But it means that you'll be able to tank this bleed damage. Alright, alright. We can cope with this. So that's going to go away at the end of the... Ha! Nice try. It's going to go away at the end of the round, not at the end of its round. So We'll just keep this up. Although we do have a couple of things that could be more useful for us. I would kind of have preferred it if Mr. Steve had gone first here. I could Shadow Fade, but I really want Holmesy to be in healing location right now, so we just do that. But at least now Mr. Steve can hit that, so it's not the worst thing. But we'll remove the the, the protection, obviously, because now it's not there anymore. Uh, don't forget that we gave Erasmus the damage versus Eldritch, which was basically for this exact situation, or at least a situation somewhat like this. Fives on that is actually really, really good. Rolling high. I like it. You're bleeding, but that's okay. We can we can cope with these bleeds. This is when everyone comes back, so that basically wastes its turn, which I'm happy with. We'll throw a dagger, try and get some more damage done to this before this becomes a problem. Hopefully we go... F well, we do go first. So I'm going to try and stun this because I'm definitely not going to kill it. That'll prevent it from healing or doing anything to this that means I can't kill this soon. We'll keep this up. We just crit the person who didn't need any HP at all, but at least it brought their um, stress down. Heal. It's just de, -ac de accuracies something. Honestly, I think we try and de accuracy this. We've all got dodge, and that is now uh, no longer debuffed, but that's a shame. We resisted the bleed, and that's probably the worst part of that damage, so... We're nearly there on this. This has not got to go. Because of the above, see above. How about now? There we go. Three rounds of negative accuracy. You get stressed out, and then all we need is an attack that can hit this, really. Before this one tries to heal it. And then we just keep everyone topped up on the HP here, so just like this. Again, that's going to be you know, six more damage. That's okay. Good dodge, though, because that could have really stacked up. I didn't use the other bandage, so if these do stack up, we should be okay. 13 is a great roll. <laughs> Couldn't live in 14, of course. Too much to ask. Throne dagger could kill it. It's down. Alright, well, this has gone a lot better than the previous one did when we ran away. We do have a higher level party. You healed yourself. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you can't do shit to me. All right, now everyone's bleeding, probably. Yeah. We didn't bring bleed resist with us, really. We brought the... Um... Yeah, so you're going to get to use the bandage. Um, Ten. A lot. I mean, you've got... More HP. <laughs> you've got the least HP left, so we'll give you that. We don't have a sort of a bleed resist that we can use against other people. Or on other people, I suppose. We should definitely have done this more. I mean, I let this wane, this dodge, in order to attack those, but maybe it was not the greatest idea. And now I think we just start hitting them. <laughs> Hard as possible. Try and get a crit or two. Something good like that. You get to use a bandage. Our last bandage, but a bandage nonetheless. Uh, Probably this one. Oh. That was a low roll. A buff is better than a heal, I think, but not ideal. Ow. Already at death's door. Not brilliant. You do need a healer. Luckily, we have one. Suddenly, this has turned south. What the heck is going on? Kill this, for goodness sake. They don't leave corpses, which is nice. I think, honestly, we heal you just in case someone tries to attack you. It puts you on, gives you one HP... But it means that next time you get hit, you're not going to die. Uh, and that's the most important thing. Although now it's Holmes's turn. Tempted to do a party heal for basically the aforementioned reason. Because everyone needs to not die. Right? Fives is great. I mean, we did a normal heal for ten. But that's 20, 20 HP we just spread around everyone. Which is great. That's what we like to see. Hitting where it hurts. 
What goes around comes around. I should get a list of trite sayings that I can use whenever something goes my way. That was a very valuable, uh, very lucrative fight as well, although it hurt a lot. But at this stage, now that's dead, the only thing I'm worried about is Martinus Erasmus being on death's, death's door. See, I knew I was going to do that. I knew it. Uh, you're going to open this. Unfortunately, <laughs> you've got two HP left. And I haven't got enough food. And I don't have a bandage. We have to basically eat the food in order for Erasmus to not die. Which means that we will take the stress of starvation if a uh, food, uh, if a hunger procs at any point. And I was hoping that this would be a fight, <laughs> but then again, Erasmus would have had to go anyway, so I guess it's not. We've still got three rounds going on this. So he's going to be on death's door like three times in a row, which is shit as fuck. So that's two. Right, you can take one more. I'm going to get you to open this. It might be bad. Nope, it's good. Uh, unfortunately, the bleed resist is a bit too late. So this is going to put you on death's door. Deal with that. Good. And then you eat. And then you get on death's door once more. Or expire. And then your bleed is gone. So you can eat the final piece of food. That resilient... Resi uh, that... Well, yeah, resilient bleed. That bleed left over from the previous fight has actually turned out to be a lot more painful than, than otherwise anticipated. I didn't, uh... I didn't move Erasmus back. I guess that's okay, because that does give you a, a great dodge chance. Oh, and, uh... The one stress wave that did come in... Alright, two of them. One of them we dodged, so that was great. Please dodge this one. Ah, that's a shame. So it's a big, big damage attack, but... Yo, though. My turn. It's a big damage attack, but not, a uh, Not insurmountable. So now everyone gets the opportunity to dodge, although it's a little bit late. Uh, what do we do here? Just hit them. I mean, we could have rolled high and killed it, but also... Oh, that's really low heal. What a time to have a low heal. No, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. More of that. Stop this. <laughs> it makes me sad. We'll be, um... We'll probably be putting some people in for stress recovery at the end of the... Jesus Christ. This has turned out quite badly. No, we have to lunge so that Holmesy can get in to position. That's perfect. Thank you very much for dealing with that. Uh, no one's bleeding, so we don't need to worry about imminent death stores. And it's completely our go now, so I think what we have to do is heal ourselves. I mean, Erasmus can take a hit, but Holmes, you really can't. Seven heal, I might as well have done, you know, a party heal on that one. We are, she is still with us, that's true. We're going to have to get rid of these corpses, which is a shame. I, I usually prefer to attack the back forward so they don't have to worry about corpses. And it tends to be that the ones at the front don't hit very hard, but do a lot of... Like, have a lot of HP or protection. That's very useful. As you will. What does that do? Buffs it. More damage, more accuracy, more crit. Well, we keep dodging. That's our task, I think, at this stage. I don't know if these things even care about marks, which is a thing. So we just smite it. And we're going to have to spend a turn of Mr. Steve, I'm afraid. Maybe two turns. See, that was fives. I'm really happy with that, but at the same time, why was the other one seven? Such a bad roll. Uh, Mr. Steve's going to have to just kill these corpses. Which will be... It will feel like wasted turns, but I, I think it will be hard-pressed to actually... Consider it wasted. You had to roll the lowest possible, didn't you? We've been getting some bad rolls recently, especially on heals. And on that attack as well. But it's it's RNG Jesus. RNG Jesus giveth and RNG Jesus taketh away. So now we're getting some decent heal rolls, so everyone's back to a sensible amount of health. 
but we need to make sure these things die, which is going to be difficult because now there are two corpses in the way and we're going to have trouble hitting the back. That was a great dodge, very well-timed dodge. You're going to buff you, but you don't really do much damage, so that buff there is basically going to make sure that their heal attacks is more accurate. If that's the worst of it, I think I'm okay. So I guess we just smite this and take it. At least it's one hit. These corpses only have 7 HP, which is the minimum roll. I think we just keep going with this. I would like to get the other two tricks that we don't have unlocked on Sejiris there, because the stab is actually turns out to be very potent. For saying it's a, just a nervous, twitchy, please don't make me do this sort of attack. It's actually really good. We should kill this because A, it has a turn, and B, dead is better than stunned, right? Or any of the alternatives. We've recovered from the fight with the unit that I always forget exists and always appears when I'm really unprepared to deal with it. So we only have the Death Store debuffs, which is uh, my new Brit pop indie band. The Death Store debuffs. We sort of do covers of, uh, you know, Elton John and and Bowie and people from the old days who need a reboot. Obviously David Bowie needs a major reboot because he's sort of fallen out of the news recently. Really, you dodge this. Can we do any damage to you? <laughs> I just want to kill you now. Well, now we can. That went a lot better. We actually completely almost healed ourselves. Oh, a key. But a victory nonetheless. It wasn't a trifling victory. Don't be so dismissive. Man, what a douche. It's oh, it was a trifling victory. Your face is a trifling victory. I'm out here, corruption. busting my ass, not literally, trying to bring back all these heirlooms and treasures and shit. Clean, cleanse these places that you unleashed all the horrors of the underworld upon. There is no battle until we're finished, so we're done here. And you're saying, oh, it's a trifling victory. Look, you turn those fish and things into those walking monstrosities. Where is my gold? Speaking of gold. We do have a bit of food now. Too little too late, I guess. Let's uh, use one of these torches. We don't. There's no prizes for bringing them back. But I brought this antiquarian on the expectation that we'd get a bunch of curios and maybe a lot of gold. So we can stack 2,000 gold. We have 120. Well, now we have measure. 150 gold. This Awarded is a very. The and the foolhardy alike. Ooh, that could be good. Oh, great. Thanks. 20% <laughs> damage on everybody. Oh, silence. Well, we're going to be leaving as soon as we've walked into this room. I knew there would be a hunger proc. Did I not say that there would be a hunger proc? Let's leave. I knew as soon as I had to not uh, not die Erasmus. We brought a bunch of cash. That's pretty valuable. Plus the 3,000 there. What have you turned out to have a problem with? God. You're a fucking Vestal. Who gives a crap? Uh, that's pretty nice. That's also... Uh, I'm not too concerned about quirks. If we get have to get a negative quirk, I'd rather get a negative quirk. A great that means we can't use certain de-stressing places. That must be destroyed. So now Holmesy, who also has bad humours, by the way, which is really bad now that we've got basically no HP at all, as a result of this um, trinket that we usually send out the Vestals with. So you'll only pray. I mean... Those are uh, negative quirks that mean you will only do this and that. It can cost a lot because you can't put them in for the, like this. You can't put them in for the cheaper of the uh, options. And sometimes you'll find that the caretaker, who is a pain in the ass, is using the only slot that you could put your unit in. But uh, you have got one, which means that you will not pray or flagellate, so you will get pissed. Go. But, by and large, if there's going to be anything wrong with you, I'd rather it was something that just made me spend a little bit more to de-stress you than something that would uh, cause you to get a horrible disease somewhere. So you're a prey only, are you? Only meditate. Which is where I just put the <laughs> Sir Jairus, who... Uh, 
apparently will go anywhere. So uh, again, that's exactly what I was just saying. The fact that that was that happened, I can cope with that. We don't necessarily need Mr. Steve straight away. Uh, we're not probably going to embark Mr. Steve on the next journey anyway. So that's something for the next episode. Mr. Steve did level up. What else has happened? Mr. Steve is now a veteran crusader. That's all that happened, but nobody died. Yeah, everyone leveled up in the previous episode. Nobody died. We have a bit more cash, but I still think we want to get a bit more more. We could take our high-level uh, antiquarian Ellie into somewhere like the ruins. Do a medium... Uh, maybe not a medium mission. So we can find a short... Apprentice, short... Uh, there is not a short veteran mission. But there is this exploration mission. We have... Uh, our occultists over here as an option. We also have D, who will not actually go there, so never mind that. Do we really want to level all these people away from the next level of boss, though? Maybe not. Maybe we should simply do the next level of boss. That's an option, too. Uh, we'll decide that in the next episode. In this episode, thank you for watching. We've actually managed to get quite a long series out of this. I'm very happy to have been here to entertain you all with my long-winded ramblings about what's happening on the screen and what's happening outside in the garden right now. Incidentally, it is nice and sunny and the cat has pissed off. Well, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time when we will decide what to do.